Why is my stomach rumbling when I'm fasting? Anytime I fast I easily get hungry. And the time gets extremely slow, how come it's just 10 a.m.? I feel like I've been fasting for 8 hours. Let me go and sleep. When I wake up it may be 5 p.m., by then I will just pray and break my fast. But how do people fast for days? I'm too foodie for that. I can't even sleep because of hunger. Lord help me. Someone is at the door. Hey Melissa. Julia, what a surprise visit. Yes, how are you? I'm good, what is that you are holding in your hand? It's pizza, I bought it for you. Pizza? Thank you so much, but I'm fasting. Oh I didn't know, I will just put it in the fridge then. Thanks, please let's sit down. How long is your fast? How many days? Days? I can't do days. I will break my fast in the evening by 6 p.m. Oh I see. But right now, I don't even know if I can fast till 6 p.m. But why? My stomach is crying for food already, and it's just 10 a.m., I don't know if I will have the stamina to fast till evening. <laughs> On a normal day I can stay till afternoon or evening and not think about food, but whenever I decide to fast, hunger and tiredness will just settle in. I can't believe I'm so hungry at 10 a.m. in the morning, I'm even trying to sleep to make the time fast but I can't sleep. <laughs> You are so funny Melissa, but have you prayed since morning? Yes, but that was when I woke up. What about your Bible? Have you studied it? Have you spent time with God today? Not really though. And you intend to have the power to fast? You will only end up starving yourself and that will not be considered as fasting. I thought fasting is abstinence from food and drinks. Fasting is not just abstinence from food, drink or pleasures but it's a spiritual discipline of denying our flesh of its desires to focus on God. Anytime we fast we humble our flesh to submit to the Spirit, this is not so easy, because our flesh will not give in easily as written in Galatians 5 verse 17. So it will fight against that idea of fasting. The only way to completely humble our flesh and give the Spirit full charge is to pray, that is why fasting and prayer go hand in hand. You can't say you have fasted when you don't back it up with prayers. Fasting detaches us from the world, prayer attaches us to God. Is that why we need to fast? Is fasting really that important to Christians? Yes, it's very very important. Jesus fasted and prayed before he started his ministry. His disciples fasted and prayed before they go on any mission. The prophets of old fasted. With fasting and prayers you are putting your spiritual desires above your physical desires, it helps you focus more on God and build your relationship with God. Fasting takes away all the distractions and silence the noise in your heart, to make you hear from God more clearly. It opens our ears to hear God's voice, His guidance and instructions. Just as written in Acts 13 verses 22, the Holy Spirit speaks more clearly to us when we focus on Him in prayers and fasting. Fasting and praying also empower you to engage more in spiritual warfares, it gives you more power to tear down walls, pull down evil altars, to break and destroy chains, and open every shut doors, as written in Isaiah 58 verses 6. These are a few of the importance of fasting. Wow, that's so profound. Never really knew this. We learn every day. But why exactly do I get hungry easily when fasting? But on a normal day I don't. Because any time we desire to fast, it threatens Satan, it weakens his power over you. How? Satan thrives with our flesh, he has more power when we are being led by the flesh, but when you fast, you are humbling your flesh and giving your spirit enough room to be in charge. And by subduing the flesh, you are also subduing the power of Satan over you. He knows this and will try to stop you from fasting so that he doesn't lose his power over you. He will then stir up your flesh against you. You start to feel hungry easily, you just want to eat and truncate your fast, the clock suddenly feels slow, these are just manipulations by the devil using your fleshly desires so that you don't fast. The only way to overcome this is by praying consistently as you fast, prayers strengthens your spirit and gives you power to subdue the flesh, 
it causes you to hunger for God's word instead, so when you pray, you should also study God's word, meditate on his word, worship him, and then you pray again. As you do this during the period of your fast, you will be so focused on God that you wouldn't know when time is past, this is why some persons can fast for days. Wow, I see. I don't pray consistently maybe that is why I always have hunger pangs. Hunger pangs during fasting may be a sign you have not really prayed and stayed in God's presence, so when you feel the pangs go and pray instead, meditate on the word of God and remain there. Whenever you feel the pangs, go and hungry for the word of God and pray, you won't feel the pain no more. Remember Jesus only became hungry when he finished fasting and praying, not during fasting, because during fasting he was feeding on the word of God and prayers. So my dear whenever you fast, ensure to pray sincerely and consistently, take it seriously if you want your fast to produce results. Wow thank you very much Julia, I'm really blessed by this honestly, so all this while I was just starving myself, now I know better, thank you so much. You are welcome, and I have to go take the pizza along with me, I will bring it back in the evening when you are done fasting, I don't want to be another reason you are truncating your fast halfway. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to pray now. I won't fall for that. Good, but I will still take it away. Okay then. Immerse yourself in the captivating story of Joseph as you explore one of the Bible's most loved stories through beautifully illustrated pages that are ready for you to color. This unique coloring book is not only for children, it's designed for teens and adults too. Each page provides a detailed depiction of key moments in Joseph's life in their true chronological order. The coloring book serves as a perfect companion for Bible study, family devotionals, or personal reflection. It's more than just a coloring book. It's a journey through faith, resilience, and divine providence. Click on the link to get a copy on Amazon now. Your children will definitely love it. I hope you all have been blessed and enlightened on how to fast effectively. Let me know your thoughts, your contributions and opinions on this in the comments section below, and subscribe to Christians for more intriguing and edifying contents. See you in our next video. Bye friends.